hey. So there's a few things I want to talk about today. I know I usually talk about weight and that's my main thing that I talk about. I update regularly on weight. Which I will be talking about weight and food. Which um, my weight is just carry the same at the moment. Though I have a weigh in coming up on Wednesday. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm hoping that I have lost at least a pound. There's Mojo. She's not very well. Hey Mojo. She was sick today. Um, she's just got a wee stomach bug. But um, she's resting in her. Anyway, um, so I'm hoping that I'll lose at least a pound or something. Because I've been working out and eating clean apart from having a Chinese yesterday. Which I was bad. <laughs> I also just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Not that I have a lot, but it really does mean a lot to me, guys, that you're following me um, about my life and my progress um, to get into my goal. And I'm sorry if this is kind of like not a happier update. <clears throat> and if you don't want to hear like Kenny down stuff um, then you don't need to watch okay you can go and listen to music or something I'm not making you watch but um, this is just for people out there like me this is a message for people who I want to communicate with because um, I've been dealing with severe depression since I've been 16 and I have learning difficulties. Um, it's mainly with math and well, who am I kidding? English too. Um, when I'm using, when I'm on my phone and I'm like, try to spell a big word. I have to go and Google it <laughs> just to get the word. Um, because sometimes spell checker just doesn't have that word. Um, and I I can't tell digital time. I don't know why. I just can't. I've tried to learn. My brother tried to teach me, and I'm really trying to learn still, but. Goodness sakes, I just, I can't, I can tell normal time, but not digital. People say to me, digital is easier, and I'm like, yeah, it's harder. But it's just my brain, I guess, I don't know. Um. Anyway, stuff has happened in my life to be vague. <clears throat> it happened when I was three, up until 13, and then something happened again at 18, and I'm not going to tell you what, because it's a little bit too personal. Anyway, I tried to move for further, move on, basically, and um, I was just getting my life in check. Um, was learning how to cook and then my brother passed away three years ago and I'm not saying this for like sympathy I'm just I want people out there who are going through the same kind of scenario to like message me or something if you want to talk. Um, because I've looked online for groups um, 
people who are going through the same. And like they're kind of rude. But um, just to give you a quick update on me and my brother. He was my best friend. I loved him to bits. And I still do. Um, it's hard when birthdays come around Christmas and I try. I really do. But um, to think that he won't be here at Christmas or his birthday or my birthday or that it tears me inside. Anyway, I'm fighting a battle with depression and I have pills for it. But the pills are not working anymore. There's sometimes I'm, I need drink to like take the pain away. And I'm, I don't want to be an alcoholic. So, um, I'm just, I'm trying to do yoga and stuff like that. And like hypnosis stuff. And, you know, that works for a wee while. And then, like, I'll be watching the telly. And then the tennis comes on. Wimbledon and me and James watched Wimbledon all the time together that was his favourite sport um, um, tennis and like that that just triggers something so painful though it's a good memory but it's so painful and I don't know if you understand but that can change my mood like that. And it's just, it's really annoying because sometimes, like, I'm looking forward to something, like, a night out or something like that. And, and then a song will come on. I don't know how to explain it. You have to go for it to understand, I guess. Anyway, that's enough talking about depression. Um, I'm just basically saying that I'm really struggling and it's been three years, but there's no time frame for grief. People expect you to get, o get over it in three years. But he was a human being. He lived in this house. He was a part of me. And I will never stop talking about my brother. And um, what a family relative told my mum, well, you still have your daughter. Like, um, that makes everything better, like, she just lost her son and she's still grieving too. Um, and the family member also told me to stop talking about James and I will never do that, so I told them to go and fuck off. Seriously, I hate my fucking family. But at the end of the day, family is no blood, is it? That was completely stupid. Family is blood, but I mean, like, um, family. I mean, blood ain't everything. I'm sorry, I've been up, like, for nearly all night. I've only had, like, three hours sleep. My next door neighbour was banging, banging, banging. And my cat was sick. She's got a sore stomach or something. And, um... When I'm depressed, I can't sleep. <laughs> I don't know why. I just there's lots of stuff going through my mind. Um, it's annoying how people treat you different as well when you're like 
you've lost somebody or something because I'm um, talking to these guys and one of them I thought was quite cool and he said to me do you have any brothers or sisters and that's always a really hard question because I did have a brother and now I don't so obviously I have to answer the question and when I tell him the truth not that I want to like bring the subject up but he he did by like asking me this question and I try and just respond like not getting too sinister or that like I'm just like um I did but he passed away um and then he, he said sorry and I'm like well it's, it's okay it's not your fault um and I'm like, so what are you up to? And I just want to change the subject because I don't think he wants to talk about it. I mean, I've only been talking to him for a wee while. And then he just starts talking to me. It's really hard to find somebody that... I mean, they expect your life to be perfect. And mine's is by far. Anyway, I'm really sorry if I've depressed some of my dis subscribers. I just had to get it out there. Sometimes you need stuff off your chest. I did try counselling, but they told me that they don't have a magic wand and they can't take back time. And that was extremely hurtful. Because obviously I know that. But they're, they're meant to help me. In fact, I came home feeling worse. Anyway, I want to like show you something that's completely different from the subject I've been talking about. But um, if there's anybody out there that wants to talk to me who has been going through the same or, you know, it doesn't even have to be that you've lost somebody, but that if you've like... If you're going through a tough time and you want to chat, then just send me an email. Or even a comment, you know. But I want to show you guys something that I have made up and don't laugh because it's for my weight. Um, it's a little workout journal. And you have like jelly in here with like lots of staples in there. That's pain for what she's been putting me through. <laughs> no, I didn't have glue, so I don't I can just, like glue her on. But this little guy like weights as well. Inside we have like the food and like different workouts and stuff like that. And then I made up another one and this is like a diary. Because I like to talk about like my weight and my depression and how I'm feeling that day if I lack motivation. Because sometimes it's really hard to like get up and work out or even like clean up and that. But working out does actually help because when I'm lacking motivation and I go to work out and then afterwards I feel really good, you know. <clears throat> I think it releases good hormones or something. Um, I feel really energetic and when I'm working out, it's just like a release as well. <coughs> but I did, I was 28 stone two years ago and now I'm 17. And three pounds. So I'm like really happy about that. Um, my goal for this month is 17. So I'm hoping that, that I can get to it. <laughs> I have been working hard enough anyway and eating clean. Um, 